Okay, so just a little warm up standing up again. Feet hip with the part, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down. Core activated, so get those ribs in towards your spine and up towards your heart. Support your spine with those contractions just gently, but let your belly move as you breathe. So diaphragm dropping, inhaling completely, exhaling and releasing tension. And then reaching the crown toward the ceiling and the shoulders down. Inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch to the front and bring your hands behind you. Clasp the hands and lift your heart. Stretch your head back for a nice back bend. Pivot at your hips. Exhale on over. Breathe and relax. So sitting bones up, hands toward your head. Relax through your spine. And then with your chin in and knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, coming all the way to the top and into a back bend. And again, head back, chest high, and shoulders down. Keep breathing. And on an inhalation, come on up, releasing your arms, noticing all of that circulation increase. And then again, arms are reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Stretch into the back bend as you lift your heart, exhale at your hips, coming over, and into the forward bend. And again, just tucking your chin, move your head around, get your neck released. And slowly again, work your way up, and once again, a nice back bend. Lift your heart a little higher. And then inhale to the top and release. Keep one arm down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch them away and lean to the side for that lateral motion. And feel the ribs expand, feel this side contract. Stretch it out through your head and your fingertips and down into the foot you're leaning away from. And then come back upright, release your arm and get ready for the other side. Remember, hips and shoulders face the front. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, arm above your shoulder, push them away and lean. No twisting, don't lean forward. Get that side opening up and that spine moving sideways. And then inhale and come up, release your arm, feel the sides a little bit more expanded. And we'll do our twist. So remember, shoulders stay down as you bring your arms up, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp those elbows, stretch your head up, shoulders down, and twist in either direction. Keep the feet hip width, weight on both feet evenly and stretch, pivot over as you exhale. And just as deep into that position as you want while you're twisted. So you can keep the weight on both feet. See if your arms are still next to your ears. And then slowly work your way up. And again, chest high, elbows back, shoulders down into the back bend. Gentle on your lower back and when you're twisting. Just a nice upper body back bend. And then come to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen the spine and twist to the other side. Another breath in and pivot over as you exhale. Take a few breaths there, just lifting your sitting bones maybe a little more. Keep the arms next to your ears. And slowly work your way up. Heart high, elbows back, shoulders down, into that upper body up and one more time. Take a few breaths, just relaxing and stretching. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, arms up, extended mountain. Get that sensation that you're sinking into the earth through your feet. 
And then swan dive, chest and chin lean. Tuck that chin back in and stretch the back of your neck. Lengthen the hips one way, crown the other way. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Let that lower back get a good stretch. And then bring your hands up in front of your shins on your knees or below your knees and stretch everything along. And then lift those ribs up, get that spine just as supported as you can with those abs contracting just a little bit more. And then bring your arms straight out to the sides, right at shoulder level and pivot up and back to that pose. Take a moment there just to feel what's going on for your body. And then we'll stretch up and pivot over and come all the way to the floor into our child's pose transition, getting ready for some core work today. So just go ahead and sink down, forehead toward the floor, bring those knees together, get a good stretch on your back if you like that. Take a few breaths. And then inhaling, come into a seated position. Now let's do cross legs this time. So sitting bones a little behind you. And remember, we're creatures of habit. So you always cross that same leg the same way. So switch them around. And as you do that, kind of feel that core activating, ribs toward your spine and up. And then we're gonna rotate around the core. So keep that core coming back as you bring your head slightly forward and then rotate around the core. So just keep contracting a little bit through the midsection as you rotate all the way around. And just circling the ribs, going forward a little, coming back, and then reverse the direction. Keep that contraction through the midsection just a little bit, getting that core more activated. And then at the front, just come back up into your seated position. So a little bit more warmth through that midsection. Just kind of notice how that is. Lift your knees, bring your legs to staff position. And take a moment again. Focus on your ribs and move them around. So just right through that midsection, keeping everything else stacked for support. So forward with the ribs, over to the side, to the back, to the other side, just circling around, keeping those shoulders as much right above the hips as you can. And then stop and circle them the other way. So just the ribs moving around, getting that midsection activated. Keep breathing. Keep those shoulders relaxing. And then coming back to neutral, get that core as your focus and roll all the way onto your back. As you get down on the floor, just a little reclined integration there, relaxing through that belly that we've been working. Toes up toward the ceiling, knees up toward the ceiling. Slide the sitting bones slightly toward your heels. Press the back down, bend your knees, bring those heels right next to your sitting bones and the knees straight up. So remember a little rolling at the top of the thigh so those knees don't flop apart. And then press your whole spine down. Get a really connected feel, that core area, abdominal muscle area really working. And then lift your ribs up, bring your sitting bones toward the floor, arching up. So a little back strengthener on this one. So from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones, gets arched up. And then we're just going to rotate, bringing the whole spine down, contracting the core, pushing those sitting bones out, and then arching up into that back bend. And do it as little or as much as your body likes to get that core working a little bit more. So we're warming things up here getting that activation through that midsection and feeling the spine getting a little bit more activated as well. You can have your hands at your sides, palms up or down, or you can be 
feeling what's going on through that midsection as you rotate into the back bend and the pressing down contraction through the midsection. And then coming back to neutral, just let your body relax. Knees still straight up toward the ceiling. Press your back down. Bring your hands, palms up near your sides and your shoulders down toward the floor. And then lift your heart toward the ceiling and push your hands toward your toes. And then release back down. And we'll just do that a few times. To, again, activate that work through the midsection in that core. Lifting the heart up, not straining the neck. <clears throat> if it feels like your neck is doing work, then just bring your fingertips behind your head and push your head back into your fingers as you lift your heart so that that neck isn't working as hard. Elbows out toward the sides if you're doing that version. And each time the heart lifts up and that core contracts, your hands can reach further toward the toes if that works for you. Or keep supporting your head and just push the head back so that that neck isn't over. Working. And then come back down. Just take a moment to relax. Release the tension through the shoulders and the neck. Soften through the core. Let it relax for a moment. And then we're going to bring the arms up to T position. You can be palms up, or if you like a little more stability in your shoulders, palms down. Press your shoulders and shoulder blades into that surface beneath you. Sitting bones toward your heels, get the back connected, and then bring your feet all the way up toward the ceiling and flex your heels. So when we do our relaxation at the end, if you'd like to do this position, be it's strenuous in the middle of the room, or you can do it next to a wall called legs up the wall, and that will work your core a little bit more during our relaxation. But right now we're going to alternate leg lifts and lowers, and we're just going to do it very slowly, keeping that core as your focus. So bring one foot down, heel toward the floor, but not quite touching. And then slowly bring it back up. And then when it's all the way up, bring that other one down. And you can breathe with it. Inhaling, coming up, exhaling, going down. And just slowly alternating one leg at a time. Just feeling that core doing the work of supporting your body and letting that leg lower slowly and raise slowly. Focus on the core so that you notice what's doing the work. And just allow your body to go as gently as it needs to. So if you don't want to go all the way toward the floor, you can go just part way. It's always personal practice what's right for your body. When it starts to feel like it's straining your lower back, stop. Don't go further. And when you've got evenly doing both sides, bring both feet up. And again, press the back down. Feel that core having warmed up even more. And we're gonna keep both feet together and work them into that same lowering and raising. So if that's not working for you on that single leg, you can bend your knees and just do the heels toward the floor. So just slowly bringing your legs almost to the floor, but not quite. And then slowly back up. Shoulders pressing down, you can have your hands, palms down as well for a little more upper body stability. And just go only as far as your body wants. So if you've got your legs straight and you're starting to feel that back starting to stress, don't go any further. And just go back up, doing what's right for your body. Legs as straight as it's comfortable for you. They can have a little bend in the knee, that's fine. And again, if you need to have the knees bent and just lower the heels toward the floor, 
that's also totally activating and appropriate if that's what your body needs to do. And after you've done a few of those, just take a moment, hug those knees in, give yourself a nice little hug, and then head to the mat and feet to the floor. And again, a nice little release through that belly, reclined integration. Take a moment there, just breathe, relaxing. And we're going to keep working that lower back as well as the core because they're opposing muscle groups and you need both of them activated and working for you to be activated through the core. So we're going to roll over onto our bellies into resting crocodile. So just head to one side and arms at your sides, palms up, shoulders down. Take a moment to get everything even. Sink those hips down. Exhale, head to the opposite side. Once again, just relaxing, taking a moment to release into that position. And then bring your face toward the floor and slide your chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down next to your sides. Feet hip width apart. We're gonna stretch the right leg back and lift the right leg with the knee straight as far off the floor as you want to. Keep both hip bones on the floor. Keep that chin sliding forward unless that's too bit much on your neck, in which case bring your forehead back toward the floor. And again, shoulders are down. Hands palms down at your sides. And just keep lifting that leg as far as it wants to go. This is a back strengthener for that lower back and it also activates through the core as you're working. So just go only as far as you'd like. Stretch out through the base of the toes and just keep lifting that leg maybe a little bit higher whenever you're ready. Keep breathing. And then on an exhalation, just slowly lower that leg back down. You can tuck your forehead toward the floor and release the neck for a moment. Move those hips around if you need to. And again, relax. So. Chin sliding forward, hands, palms down at your side, shoulders down. Slide the left foot back and again, knees straight. Bring that leg up as far as it wants to go. Keep the hip bones down. You don't want to be rolling over to the side. You want that leg to be going straight up toward the ceiling. Take a breath. Just relax as you exhale. Push those hips maybe a little deeper as you raise, maybe a little higher through that foot. Remember, personal practice, only as high as it wants to go in your body, letting that back get a little stronger for you, that core a little bit more activated. And then as you exhale again, slowly bringing that foot down as you keep reaching out through the base of the toes. And then forehead to the mat, and again, just release and relax through the shoulders, through your body. And sink those hips down into the surface beneath you. And we're going to do both feet together. So a couple things you can do on this one. Again, you can have that chin slid forward, or you can keep the face toward the floor a little bit more if that neck is overworking. Shoulders are down. Hands either palms down under your body or clasp your hands and press your hips, pelvis down into your hands. Feet are hip width apart. And you're stretching out through the base of the toes. And then lift both feet as high as they want to go. So you may be close to the floor, that's okay. Just keep reaching out and lifting. If you like to go higher, you can keep going higher. Just press down into your shoulders and hips down into your arms or hands and lift those feet only as far as they want to go. Take a few breaths, keep lifting a little bit more if that works for you or just stay where you are or if it's too much, remember you can always go lower or you can return them to the floor when you need to. Take a couple breaths, maybe go a little bit higher and then reaching out through the base of the toes again, slowly lowering the feet. 
And when they touch, releasing, and again, resting crocodile. Head to the side, shoulders down. Take an exhalation and turn your head the other direction. Let that neck release. Shoulders toward the floor. And relax. And then bring your forehead back toward the floor. Hands under your shoulders. And we're going to press back into child's pose. And take a moment for a nice little forward bend. So remember, you can keep your knees apart. We can bring them closer together and get more stretch through that lower back where we were contracting earlier. Take a moment to breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and sit up and come back into staff position. So get those sitting bones slightly behind you. Feet hip width apart out in front of you, toes up toward the ceiling, a little roll in at the top of the thighs to keep those knees and toes up. Sitting bones comfortably behind you or you can pad if you need a little padding to keep that structure effective for your body. Shoulders above your hips, crown reaching to the ceiling, get that core gently activated, so ribs toward your spine and up. And then we're going to bend the knees and bring the heels in until you can put your feet flat on the floor. And you still want the knees straight up toward the ceiling. So again, keep that roll in at the top of the thighs so you're not spreading out in your knees. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. Hands, palms up so that you keep those shoulders released. And then we're going to lean just a little bit back to activate through the core. Keep that spine nice and straight. Make sure that that core is engaged so that your lower back is supported. And then we're gonna bring one foot up just a little. And if that's working for you, you can straighten a little bit till the shin is perpendicular or parallel to the floor. Or if you love a little bit of work through that core and hip, you can straighten your legs so the thighs are parallel and the leg is straight all the way up and stretch through the base of the toes. So you've got that core supporting your upper body and that hip flexor is working a little bit along with the core, keeping that leg elevated slightly. And you're just doing what's right for your body personal practice. And then slowly bring that foot down and sit back upright. Take a moment to feel and release and notice that circulation. And of course, yeah, we're gonna do it with the other foot. So again, hands, palms up, just activate that core, maybe a little bit recline through that whole torso, and then bringing the other foot up. And again, make sure that leg isn't going out to the side, you want the knee straight up, so you can keep it low if that's where you are, or a little bit higher with the foot out to the front, or straight if that works for your body. Just Shoulders relaxing down so those hands can be palms up to make you remember to do that. And again, only go as far as you and your body need to go. It's personal practice. And then we're going to bring that foot back down. And again, come on back up if that's something that you need to release a little bit before we do, yeah, both feet together. So as we do both feet together, it'll be more intense. So just be gentle if you need to. Personal practice, do what's right for you. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms up. Come into that activated core position and feet just a little or more or straight out. Stay on your sitting bones, don't roll back onto your sacrum or you'll lose your balance and you won't be able to maintain your position. And if you have your legs up and it feels like you need to lower them a little, that's okay. Or if you need to bend the knees, or if you need to bring the feet back toward the floor, it's personal. Do what's right for your body. Don't go too far. And then if you haven't brought the feet back down already, go ahead and slide them out and come back to your staff position. And just let your whole body relax. 
So releasing through that hip joint, through those hip flexors, soften through the core just a little bit before our final twist for our day. So again, we're gonna go onto our backs. So starting with that, those feet out in front, activate the core, and again, just slowly get the sacrum down, the lower ribs down, the shoulder blades down, and your whole body to the floor. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. And again, we're gonna bend the knees, sitting bones towards your heels, and bring those heels in close to your sitting bones. Knees straight up. And then bring your arms out to the sides. And for our twist, we're gonna do a little core work still, yeah. So lift your heart up and bring your arm across to the outside of the opposite knee. And then bring it back to the floor and lower your upper body. So raising your heart, reaching your arm across, opposite arm to opposite knee, and then arm back out and lower your upper body. Heart up, arm coming, first arm coming across again, and down, heart up, and arm across, coming down. So just feel that slight twist through your whole spine as you bring that arm across. So your hip is coming up rib and shoulder as you're reaching across, just like in any other twist. And you're raising your heart first, stretching your spine apart, moving into the twist, and going back down. And of course, we can't do too many today. This is our sampler. When you're doing it on your own, of course, you can twist more and get the oblique and side of your body activating more. And for now, we're just coming back onto the floor, coming into either legs extended to the ceiling, if you like that position, or moving to the wall and doing legs up the wall for a relaxation. Or you can just go into corpse position if you prefer that for your relaxation. So take a few moments to breathe. Get your body centered down into that surface beneath you. Relax your shoulders down, palms up, whatever position you're in. And take a few moments just to release and relax anything that you need to. If you've got your legs up either in the middle of the room or along the wall, you can activate that core a little bit more for support. And if you have your legs up and at any point during a meditative relaxation, you say, oh, this is getting more awareness than it needs and I need to release and relax, you can always go into corpse position for the actual relaxation. So go ahead and breathe. Keep those ribs pulling down just gently. Hands, palms up, shoulders, shoulder blades pulling down. If your legs are extended up, you can push those heels away, maybe a little bit more if you like that. And then just relax through the backs of your legs. A slight bend in your knees is okay. And allow your whole body to sink into that surface beneath you with whatever parts of your body are touching. Feel that support. Just let the whole upper body go. Or the whole body, if you're in corpse, just relax completely. And as you breathe and release awareness of your body, just allow your thoughts to float away. No need to think about your body, but no need to think about any other content of your thoughts either. So as you breathe and release that tension, also breathe and release those thoughts. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce the thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention to the content. At this moment, you don't need to think about your body. You don't need to think about any thoughts coming to your mind. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts go without attention. No need for awareness to any thoughts. 
And as you breathe more deeply in your body, releases deeper into that earth support. Let your thoughts drift away and allow your awareness to turn inward. Focus on the peace within. Let your body relax into the peace. Your mind drift into the peace. And just take a few moments and be peace. And if you can keep relaxing today even longer, feel free to do so as long as you have time. If it's time to activate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back with your breath to the moment, to the room, to your body. If you're on legs up the wall, you can just shift to the side and bring those legs down. If you're in corpse position, just begin activating any parts of your body as you're ready. If you've got your legs up in the middle of the room and you want a little more core work today, just go ahead and press the back down, lower the legs slowly to the floor using that core for support. And when you do get down, just begin moving around gently and getting ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. So pressing your sitting bones toward your heels, draw those heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for you today and get that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready, just bring your feet to the floor, rolling over to the side and sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a good day.